So that was a nice little lullaby. <laughs> I've been playing the piano since I was three. When I first sat down with the piano, I found myself running my hands over it, touching it, saying, huh, I've done this before, and I started playing. By the time I was 12, I was already playing professionally. By the time I was 21, I developed a severe case of tendonitis. The tendonitis got so bad that within a few years I had to give up performing live. I was able to play for two or three minutes at a time, and that meant I could play sessions for other people. You know, sort of like a marathon runner, you can walk to the car, but that's about it. I am incredibly grateful for those who hired me for these sessions, because frankly, I really wasn't that good at it. This went on for about 15 years. I was at such a session, and somebody walked up to me. He said, you don't know me very well, but I'm a big fan of your music, and there's somebody in town for one night that I think who could help you. So, I had tried every conventional, unconventional, woo-woo, chicken blood, voodoo, psychic surgery, orthopedic surgeons, acupunctures, chiropractors, and transmasters. And at the end of each procedure, every one of them said, sorry, this is the best you will ever be able to do. And I never gave up. I always knew I would play again. So I said, what the heck, let's try one more person. And that person's name is Phil Cullen. Phil, whose title, and I'll try to get this right, Phil, is Director Emeritus of the Leonardo Project at Concordia University, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. At the time, Phil was traveling around the world doing what he called removing people's interferences. So I played for my two minutes, and he was very quiet, and then he said, I can have you playing again in six months. <laughs> but you will have to unlearn everything you know about the piano. So I looked at him, and I thought, is he blank, 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 crazy? And I started to say that to him. But fortunately, I spoke from my heart. And I said, let's do it. So, we got to work. I had to completely relearn how to play the piano in an incredibly unconventional method. If you watch my hands, my hands are almost perpendicular to the piano. I sit very low. And if you were to touch my arms, they would just fly off. It took a long time to get. It certainly didn't take six months, but I was back playing again. Phil used to call himself a misanthrope, but it couldn't be farther from the truth. He loves people, he's an incredibly generous guy, and he saved my life. So, in honor of him, I'd like to play this unrefracted solo acoustic piece called The Misnamed Misanthrope.